Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about Git. Uh, Git is a very useful tool for working with Python or any other programming language. And it has to do with uh, version control, and uh, which means it monitors the changes of the files uh, during the project uh, lifetime. Uh, we will go straight to the GitHub website. GitHub. And we need to set to sign up in the GitHub. It is uh, very easy. Uh, I have already done this. And uh, uh, after login, we can go. to the main menu and we will need to create a new repository. Uh, I already did this. I have a repository ready for our project, but it is very easy to create a new one. Uh, we need to give a new name. Test and uh, some description, which is optional. Uh, we can uh, leave the repository public or make it private if it is an enterprise project, for example. And uh, there are a couple of other uh, options. And after clicking the repository, it is uh, ready for use. I will not create a new one. I have already created uh, this repository some minutes ago. And uh, after the creation of the repository, there are some instructions on the page about how to add and push code in uh, to this repository, which is what we will do right now. Uh, the code that we want to push is here. It is our uh, usual MyPython projects. And also we need to install Git to our uh, PC. It is very easy to do it. by going to the official uh, Git website. Uh, I will not do it because I already have it installed. After the Git is installed to our machine, we, uh, we are inside the folder and right click and we see these options here. And I will select Git Pass and this will open a new Git terminal. And this terminal is uh, points to our uh, folder in uh, to our uh, directory. We can see it here. And the first command we need to type is git init. This will initialize our folder as a git repository. I have already done it, but uh, uh, there is no problem to rerun it again reinitialize okay and the second command is uh, to add these changes to uh, the stage environment but first i will type git status i can do it anytime and it is a very very useful uh, command git status will show what changes have been done in the files so i see Almost everything is included here. And um, I will now add the changes. All these commands that you will see in this video are the most common commands that uh, are used on, a, on daily when working uh, with Git. I will add the changes. We can add a uh, an individual file or we can add everything by uh, adding just a dot. If we execute git status, we will see everything uh, being in green, which is which means they are ready for commit. And we now need to commit our changes. This is the syntax initial commit name fatal unable to detect email address
we need to add our credentials Okay, this will yes, this work now. And uh, so we did our changes. We uh, executed git add, and we executed git commit. And if we run git status, we will see the changes that are uh, ready to push to our uh, remote repository. So now we need to follow the instructions here or push an existing repository from the command line. We have the existing repository and we will copy this command. I will better do it line by line. GitHub, origin, okay, perfect, git branch main, and we can uh, change the name here, I prefer the master for this, it's master, and git push original master. This command will push all our changes, to this new remote repository. And now it needs to uh, log in because this command will actually change the account in the GitHub website, so it needs some authentication. Must um, access authorize. Okay. Yes, the authentication worked actually. So this command was executed. Okay, and we now see our code in the uh, remote uh, repository. So whenever we do any changes in our local files, we can and we need to push them each time to the uh, to this uh, remote repository. Uh, so let's try some changes. If I if I type uh, git status now, it will show nothing. Uh, it says that uh, your branch is up to date with Origin Master. But if I uh, do even a slight change here. Even if I test git and run git status, we will see that this file was changed. And if I want to push this change, I need to follow the same steps, git add dot. I will now see it as green, git commit. Here we add a message that indicates the changes. Um, updated problem I 
here. And now I need to push this code, these changes to the remote repository. And this is the command to push. So always remember the, the five, six more important uh, commands is git status. It shows the recent changes. Git add to uh, to add the changes to the change environment and uh, git commit to commit our changes and git push to send our changes to the remote uh, repository. And uh, there is uh, there is a lot of um, material for git. Uh, we, we will definitely <coughs> discuss in our future projects and we will definitely use <coughs> sorry uh, use git uh, in uh, many of our uh, future uh, projects um, so let's close this video here uh, let me know your thoughts and uh, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel thank you very much